just as I predicted last night, inflation slows just slightly to 2.7%. This basically raises the odds of the Bank of Canada actually cutting rates next week. Now, some economists are even saying that Canada's widespread inflation problem has long been solved and it's only limited to the shelter component of inflation now. So Canada is one of the only countries that actually includes mortgage interest rate costs in the whole basket. I don't know why Canada does this at all, but if you take out the mortgage interest rate costs, inflation is actually only at 1.9%. What's gonna happen as well is when they reduce the interest rate, that mortgage interest rate cost is gonna come down as well and bring inflation down too with it. You can see here, mortgage interest rate cost makes up 22.3% of the whole inflation basket with rent making up another 8.8%. That's huge. When rates do start coming down, and if you like I said before, if you strip this out, we're at 1.9%, it will start to bring inflation down. And what they were, were afraid of is this will increase spending, but I don't think that's going to happen. And if you look back in the past, you answer me, when we've had low rates, we've also had low inflation. It's so many other factors that come into play. You can't just say, oh, we're going to raise rates and inflation will come down. There's so many other factors. Look at oil. Oil is down year over year, uh, month to month, and that's really helped this month as well. Next week, I think we're going to get a rate cut based on everything that's happened with the jobs report as well, uh, the business sentiment and inflation coming down today. So let's all wait till next week and let me know what you think is going to happen.